The Child Protection Unit, CPU of the TT Police Service, says it has stated it started an investigation into the online porn ring exposed by one local government organization, NGO. The member of the NGO who revealed details of the 30-month-long investigation, who Guardian Media, in an exclusive interview on Thursday, said the groups have started to warn each other to be careful after the story was published. And um, what, what really happened is that there is this local um, porn ring that has taken place on a particular platform. And the particular platform is Telegram. And we have a part to play in that technologically because we understand how Telegram works. So my hot take on it is that these, um, these very, very private apps like Telegram and Signal and Tada next one called Wicker, I think is the name of it. They have been used all over the world to do a lot of nefarious things. Most of the times it's drug deals and criminals who use it because it's end-to-end -end encrypted and you are totally anonymous. But you remember when we had Telegram groups for like the flower thing, the kind of susu thing and, and, and that, that kind of shipiness? Yeah, yeah it was, flower it's totally, blossom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's totally anonymous. And us having a child porn ring or a porn pornography ring or many different pornography sites, not surprising to me. My worry is they have the ability to research this and figure it out and do anything because from a technical standpoint, it really do how much you could do, you know. What do you think? Yeah, but at the same time, from a policing standpoint and an investigative standpoint, you could probably infiltrate the group. And, you know, call, call, thinking back to, to, to like stuff like, like a sting operation or shows like um, To Catch a Predator or whatever, you know. You could you could in, infiltrate the group pose as somebody who wanting to buy whatever or, or you know I don't know if we are we are laws in terms of in terms of that in terms of people trying to claim entrapment. I'm um, not sure. I, but, you know, yeah, but, yeah, that should have it should have. Uh, that's kind of straightforward. If you, I mean, it could it could infiltrate the group people there. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, people buying and selling whatever, right? So you must when once once that transaction happen, you know, unless they're using Bitcoin or um some digital currency, you must have some way, you know, if they're doing some I sure people go and slip up and send an online transfer or uh, you know? Or you or you think they're using the, the the so you know, the thinking so far ahead that they're using Bitcoin or some type of, um, type of cryptocurrency, I doubt. According to the article, it said being sold, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure how they collect any money. But um, let, me go, let me go through the article a little bit more, right? And we'll see if we could find out what is taking place. Right, so um, this part here. There, she said, all right, yeah, there, are, there is a very specific element that makes this exploitation, which is the exchange and for the use, for the sexual benefit of the perpetrator. There is a phenomenon of exploitation taking place amongst children. And what we have seen is that the exploitation is taking the form of what we call child sexual abuse material. And it's almost like the children are being used for money. Now, let me go to the next article, which will kind of um, clear it up a little bit, because this next article, which was five days ago, um, says that the porn ring activity is hard to track, of course, mm -hmm. because it's Telegram, right? Yeah. But later on in the article, it says, um, for the police, it is hard because they will need the cooperation of Telegram. Telegram most likely will not cooperate unless they have some court direction. For the police to get a court document to pursue that, you know how long that takes in this country, and then you need to know if there's international cooperation, he said. You can upload a picture of anybody and... No, sorry, wrong wrong paragraph. Um, very part where they talk about the money, boy. They said somewhere about funds. All right, I'll find out, but let me talk about the Telegram part. Nobody go in my Telegram to get a, um, a court order on Telegram saying, yeah, sure, no problem. That That's really weird that they don't know that. 
Yeah. Because we used to try to go to Google when we had email gate and thing, and you tried to go to Google to to verify the emails. Google was like, no, we don't do that. Who are you? And they're like, oh, yeah, I'm the um, attorney general of Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad who? That's, yeah. that's basically <laughs> what happened. So these big um, international companies, they know, if Brazil couldn't get WhatsApp to give up information about, uh, I think it was an assassination attempt on the prime minister, or some kind of thing like that, or some drug ring or something. Brazil basically tell WhatsApp, we will ban you all from the country if you all don't give us the information on WhatsApp, say, well, I know what okay. to tell you, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. We will see you later. Like, yeah. I s- because... I send you a link there. That yeah. has something about the... Um, yeah, because if you... Um, if you ban us from the country, is your people going on going on get vexed with you? Not not us. So and Brazil end up having to fold because WhatsApp's argument is that um, they can't access the data, and Telegram will tell you the same thing. Mm-hmm. So from a technical perspective, we'll go to the money part just now. But from a technical perspective, you really think like Telegram will cooperate with our police force? Of course not. <laughs> like there well, is, may, maybe I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not really that familiar with Telegram, and you know the operating procedure for for cases like this. Mm-mm. But why Telegram get calling all kind of different things from yeah. assassination attempts to all kind of thing? And Telegram was like, "Listen, we literally do not know what is going on on this platform. We have no control whatsoever. Somebody could report it on the platform." And then we will try to um, we will try to investigate it, it. but yeah. basically that investigation is an internal vest- investigation, and because it's internal, you can you can ask Telegram how far they reach. They'll just be like, no. What I think Telegram makes money from ads, so they have ads inside their messages and their stories and them kind of thing. So Telegram is just a a private place where <laughs> people share what they want and. No, nobody. Yeah. Gonna, it's, it's almost like OnlyFans, kind of like only OnlyFans. Yeah, it's like OnlyFans. You, you can't tell me how to run my business. Yeah, unless it's illegal. So yeah, yes, I'm the article here. So we talk about the money part now, because the money part is Trinidadian men and women are selling and trading child rape videos on the social media app for as much as two hundred dollars. Why do they say as much as two hundred? Two hundred dollars. Maybe as little. little. They probably mean to say yeah, as little. Yeah, probably mean as little as two hundred. Yeah, at least one person involved in our porn ring says 207 videos are available for that price. He's on a telegram group called Trini School Leaks Twix Videos, which has 945 members. So, it exists. And there's one name, Oliriel Effin Stink, in here. And that one has 8,525 members. And... <laughs> Shivam, yeah. Shivam is the one who told us about it. He identified 22 groups on Telegram selling and trading. But how are they buying it? That is, yeah, you, you ask that question. How are they yeah, paying for it? Yeah, that should be a way to track it. It should have some type of paper trail there. But, you know? Yeah, but how do you $200 get into the person? Like, it can't be Bitcoin. We have nobody in yeah. Trinidad who using Bitcoin to buy anything. Probably leave high, high, high end criminals, but yeah. the regular man who won porn, he not paying. Yeah, so that what I mean, when the police say, eh, it's not nothing we could do, that there, right there is a lead. Go in the group. I mean, you'll have to see some unsavory things where you could go in the group and mm. set a fasting operation. And, and Because and that's one way. How, how, how the person paying for the, paying for the arm? The thing, you know, I sure somebody gonna put our account number. Or, so you know, we could, we, so send we, could people use, account. we could use online banking for porn, but we can't use online banking for everything else because we know to <laughs> digitally transform. Yeah. Will, I mean, but, where, yeah. when it, when you have our will, there's a way, and people for these things, people tend to to be creative, as you could see with this Telegram group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, so somebody says, um, somebody said, she sh- said pictures and videos she sent to her ex were leaked and when confronted, he denied doing this. He said there was no one to report it to because the groups don't have names. Oh, sorry, the, yeah, the admins don't have names. She said when she tried to take matters into her own hands and go into the group, she was bombarded and threatened with rape and death. So she probably went to the group and said, hey, these are mm-hmm. my pictures. How will I can sell that? And yeah. the big question is, 
Why you send a picture in the first place, boy? What make you decide that it makes sense to I do mean, that? Like me, I I wouldn't I wouldn't have a, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't like do that be, just because I am aware of how how things just work online and I generally don't trust people <laughs> with stuff like that. You know, but the caveat to that is, you know, when you when you're a bit younger, you know, you kinda you know, you just kinda look past certain things when you're in that stage and you think you're in love and you know you could trust yeah, this person yeah. and you're, you're not thinking that far ahead, you know, you wouldn't think that this person will potentially betray you that way. You know, so um so the last part of this article. You know what I mean? We 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 at a certain in a certain generation, but the younger generation yeah, this should you know, be, it will be um, I, I, it's yeah. easier for them to do something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a teacher, I, I could see some students who are, you know, they're in different yeah. social statuses and different um, home issues and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. They, could, they could use this as a, as a way to, well, I found love. And this is what he wants because he loves me, you know, and you'll yeah, send, yeah, send yeah. me pictures. You think I mean... Go it's ahead. a man. It's a man will pull that card. They'll be like, "Yeah, girl, if you, if you really love me, you go do it. You go send it or whatever." Like, nah, I will never do that. And you know, and if it's that old man talking to a younger woman or, or whatever, mm-hmm. you will feel the you know they'll tend to give in more easily. Well, why? Do, all right. Well, now be that there'll be a social issue because it. When it comes to the child the pornography part, that is that's a that's a shaky part because if you if you're a parent, well not parent here, yeah, and you are forcing your child to do these things so that you could sell their videos, that's a different level of that's a different level of issues. Because it's not just relational matters, it's almost like rape victims. You're you're basically um yeah. manipulating children and that 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 is a social problem, but from a technological standpoint, these private these apps that are totally private, they are dangerous, boy. 